the RSPCA Animal Hospital in Manchester, David Yates learned early on in his career that a different approach to animal welfare was needed. What I realised fairly early on was a lot of the stuff we were seeing was preventable. So we were, we were seeing things like dogs and cats involved in traffic accidents, animals that were producing unwanted litters, we were seeing abandoned puppies, animals that were unvaccinated, and animals that had become strayed from their, strayed from their owners. David saw his future more and more in the welfare side of animal health. I thought that I wanted to spend my career in charity practice trying to improve populations of animals and trying to help people because I think when you're a vet you seem to have the idea that everybody takes their own pet to a vet whereas for me I think that most people don't go to the vet, most people who own cats they don't vaccinate their cats, they don't neuter them at the right kind of time so I think as a vet I wanted to, to work on a, a broad population rather than do individualised pet care. And I think some of the things that I was keen on were reproduction and anaesthesia and I was quite keen to try and see if I could put that work into practice and help control cat populations and try and improve anaesthetic combinations so we could neuter animals earlier. He also had the foresight to know the future was in educating student vets on the welfare of animals as well as in medicine and surgery. He has a constant throughput of students at the hospital and encourages them to think of the bigger picture. But he didn't start off as a vet. Yeah, I, I started doing textile engineering. The only common thread is, is one of stitching. I still stitch a lot of stuff together. 